Hello my dear friends, my name is Sana and welcome back to another video. Today I have another collective haul for you because yes, it has already been three months of 2023. Can you even imagine? That is wild. That is really wild. Um, I'm doing something different with the lighting today, so if I look a bit yellow, sorry, we're just trying something out. Maybe I like it, maybe I don't. But I'm gonna show you all the things that I've gotten over the past three months. It's actually not that much. So we'll go through it very quickly. So yeah, I do this every three months. If you want to see the previous one, I'll link it down below. And then in three months, I'll see you again with a similar video. But yeah, let's quickly get into it. I always do this collective haul in four different categories. Makeup, skincare, fashion and extra. So that's usually like books or any other things that I enjoy that I want to show you. So yeah, let's quickly get into the makeup section and show you all the makeup that I've received over the past three months. So let me first get into the makeup products that I actually bought this <laughs> these past three months. Because most of the makeup products that I got over here, I received either in PR or as a gift from someone. So uh, I have a bit of makeup to show you, but I didn't really buy any, uh, any of it myself. So what I did buy uh, recently is first uh, first only the only makeup thing that i did buy are these two little lip glosses by maximore no not by maximore by fab factory but i got them at the action and they're just like cute little hearts that you can put in your purse and then you know this twists off and you have a tiny little lip gloss so we have a lovely soft peachy kind of pink shade and then this one is like a hot pink shade they had these around valentine's day and i thought the packaging was so cute so i you know i had to have them and i can just throw them in my purse and yeah so really freaking cute so those are the makeup things that i bought myself then let me take you through some of my pr packages first of all i received a set from lilac street um i don't know if by now when this video goes up I will either have a video on these online already or it will be up next Wednesday. So it's either three days before or like three days after this video. So you will see. I'll link the video down below if I've already uploaded it by now. But yeah, I've received a set from Lilac Street. Lilac Street do um, at home lash extensions. So this is a lash, lash extension kit. This is a starter kit and it, it comes in this like really cute little maybe mini suitcase and there's everything in it that you need so they sent me the starter kit it has like the glue the sealing the removal stuff a two pair of tweezers a primer and then two sets of lashes and i got to choose the styles myself so i chose chose two styles uptown and hollywood and both of them they sent me the 12 millimeter and 14 millimeter sets so you could you know do like longer lashes towards the end of your lashes or something like that so you can you know make your own mix this is what the lash sets look like and then i have everything else in this little kit so i got to try it out um i really like them and i did like a full video putting them on, them on trying them out see how long they last and whatever i did that um like i said either last week or next week so you will see uh, so if you want to know more about these you should check out that video because I did an entire video trying them out. So thank you to Lilac Street for sending it over. I had a lovely time trying them out. Um, I'm gonna use them again soon, so really exciting. The next up, I got a PR package, which I don't have here because I have it at my parents' place because I used it with my mom last week or two weeks ago. Over two weeks ago. Because uh, the brand Blue Sky sent me one of their starter kits as well. And Blue Sky is a gel nail polish brand. So they sent me this starter kit, which includes the, uh, the UV light, uh, some nail files, some wipes, and then a top coat, base coat, and three nail colors. I did try it out, as you can see. We're at the two and a half week mark right now. And this is the only nail that uh, was taken off. I took it off Monday. So that was exactly two weeks after putting these on. I do need to remove them because they have grown out quite a lot as you can tell but it was extremely easy applying these it was super quick super lovely they stayed on really really well there's no chipping whatsoever just yeah they just grow out so i need to take them off and apply some new ones so 
really excited about that. I had never tried gel nail polish before, so this was a fun little experience. Uh, my mum really liked it as well. They stayed on pretty well for her as well. But yeah, lovely, lovely color as well. I'm gonna try the other colors probably sometime soon. So thank you to Blue Sky for sending me the entire starter set. They also sent me the nail care set, so I was able to do like a nice nail oil, nail cuticle oil, hand cream, whatever. It's really, really nice and a lovely extra experience for when you're doing your nails. So thank you to Blue Sky for sending it over. I do have a, a discount code for them. It's not affiliated, but it's BHNL30 and you can get 30% off anything of their website um, up until like halfway through May. So for the next two months or something, you can get 30% off of their website if you want to try something out. So thanks again to Blue Sky for sending it over. So those are my PR packages. And then I got a few gifts as well. So first of all, I don't think... I think I already got this like last year, but I forgot to show you. Uh, but I got this eyeshadow palette from my brother and his girlfriend for my birthday. This is the Max and More Wildflowers eyeshadow palette. I'm pretty sure I already have a video of this uploaded. A review video so I'll link it down below as well. It's absolutely lovely. I love it very much and it's perfect for the upcoming spring season of course so I'll definitely get more use out of it then. And then for Christmas my boyfriend got me the Odin's Eye Christmas Eve palette and I absolutely freaking love this palette. This is like my favorite palette at the moment. I keep gravitating towards it. The cool tones in it are just like right up my alley currently. It's absolutely beautiful. And that multi-chrome over here, I'm wearing it today as well because I just love it so much. So yeah, the, everything in this palette is great. The mattes, the shimmers, the color story, it's, it's all just, it's amazing. So definitely one of my favorite makeup products over the last year. A great, great, great Christmas gift. And then I have a bunch of products to show you, but I'm just gonna go through them really quickly. Because these are products that my friend Beauty and the Beaker on YouTube sent over to me. She sent me like an entire package and um, some of it I got to pick myself. Some of it was just stuff she had laying around. She didn't open it yet, so she sent it to me as well. So a lot of makeup items, but I did do like a full unboxing of it. I'll link it down below so you can see everything a tiny bit better. So I'm just gonna quickly go through everything. So first of all, she got me some items that I picked out myself. So I got the Koki blushes, which I do have a review up on as well. Everything in this video, if I either have like a review video or anything on it, I'll link it down below so you can check that out. She sent me two Koki Gradient Blushes, which I wanted to try out. These are in Tender and Crushing. And then also two Moira Gradient Blushes in Morning Sunshine and Soft Berry. And she sent me two Colourpop Super Shock Cheeks, one in Chiffon and one in No Vacancy. These are really, really fun colours. And she sent me a green mascara, which I picked out myself by Mina. Cosmetics, um, this is really, really fun. just a fun color. Uh, I did order um, more colored mascaras from Mina, so I can try out some more because this is really, really fun. I really, really like this. She also sent me the Star Wars Colourpop Jelly Matte Shadow in Astromac, and then the Star Wars Colourpop Eyeliner in Kyber Crystal, and then the Profusion Electric Bolt Liner in Orange. And then she sent me a bunch of lip products. I feel like I'm forgetting some, but she got me the Wet n Wild Lip Mousse in the shade On Candy Cloud 9. The Colourpop Star Wars Collection Lip Gloss in the shade Imperial. A Sephora lipstick in shade 72. The Essence Glimmer Glow color changing lipstick. The NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in shade San, San Juan. And then finally the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Praline. Praline. Pr pr praline. Pral pr we say Praline over here. <laughs> so Praline. Pr praline. I don't know. And then finally she sent me the Cara Beauty Bloom Into You palette, which I'm really excited about. It's like two small palettes with each six shades and um, I'm really excited about these. These are lovely. So I think that's most of the makeup that she sent me. Another great thank you to Beauty and the Beaker. It was so, so sweet. It was the most insane care package ever. She did send me quite a bit more on like other things. 
but I'll link the video down below so you can see all of that as well. And if I forgot anything, then you can see it over there as well. So I think that was all the makeup that I had to show you. So let's quickly get onto the second category, which is skincare. And skincare is gonna be really, really fast because I only got one thing, which is the Pureol face wash with green tea green tea, white tea. Um, and my, I was just running out of my aloe vera face wash and I, I just wanted something else. I really like Pureol as a brand and I know it's cruelty free. So I got this uh, and this one is also vegan, which I like. I try to get most of my skincare and makeup vegan nowadays because there's no need for animal ingredients whatsoever, if you ask me. Just this one, just because I needed a new face wash and this one was affordable and I wanted to try it. So that was the skincare section. So let's quickly get onto the fashion section. I got a few things uh, fashion wise and most of this is knitwear. So it's quite interesting actually. I got a few things from the thrift store firstly. I got this amazing blue knitted dress. It's like over my knees and it's skin tight and long sleeve and it has like a mock turtleneck. It's really, really cute. It's a beautiful shade of blue. I feel like I should change the color right now. It's a beautiful shade of blue. Literally the same as that thing that I'm wearing today. But it's really, really comfy, really, really cute. And I think it was like eight euros 50. It's from the brand Amisu Knitwear. So yeah, I got that at the, at the thrift store for like eight euros. So that was a great buy. And then another thing I got at the thrift store was this sweater vest, which is pastel purple um, and knitted and it's just cute and comfy and warm. I don't think there's like a brand in this. Maybe someone knitted it themselves. That's also of course an option, I don't know. Oh no, it's Shein, of course it is. So it's from Shein, but you know, it's cute. And I got it at the thrift store and it was three euros. So can't complain. And I don't like buying from Shein, but I would rather get just clothes from the thrift store that happened to be Shein if it's cute and it's something I would wear a lot, so. And then I just have some things I got at H&M on sale, so I did not pay a lot for these. I don't know exactly, but I'll have to find out. But first of all, I got this really, really cute dress. I think this one was eight euros. And it's like skin tight. It has a tiny bit of ruffling going on. And the inside layer is just a regular black dress. And then the outside layer is this really cute kind of like mesh fabric with little roses on it. And it's really, really comfy and tight. And it's also like really nice to not wear a bra underneath this. Cause like there are little ruffles on top. Really, really cute, really comfy for spring and summer. So really excited about it. And then to kind of match it and also be able to wear more of my dresses throughout spring when it's not that warm yet. So I have this really cute long sleeve white crop top and it's like skin tight. It only like, it closes with two buttons. So it's really, really cute to wear as like a top with no bra underneath, just showing off a little cleavage, you know. Uh, but also it's really, really great to just throw over a dress or something in spring since it's so thin and lightweight. So I think it is perfect for the upcoming spring season. And then I got this same one in black as well, but I literally just put it in the washing machine, so I can't show you. But it's actually the same thing, but in black, which is also really, really, really cute. Like, like either wear it on its own as a top or put it on top of a cute dress or anything. And then the final thing that I got was this knitted cardigan, cropped, black, very simple, uh, also by H&M. Again, just to have something that I can throw on top of uh, dresses or skirts or whatever, just to make it a tiny, tiny, tiny bit more warm while it's still uh, a bit chilly outside, especially in the Dutch weather over here. Those were the fashion items that I got, which I'm really excited about. I think they're great additions to my spring collection. Just some basics uh, that I can throw on top of things in basic colors and some cute dresses. So I'm all set for spring, I think. So those are all the fashion items. So let's quickly get into the extra section, which is just some other stuff. <laughs> so first of all, what you probably have noticed in the past few months watching this channel, I have a new light over here. It's like a really cute, cool corner light. It does all sorts of different colors and whatever. So it's really useful. And then I also got an extra ring light. Um, so those are just two things that I got recently just to expand my setup a bit, be a bit more creative lighting wise, just to make everything look a tiny bit more even and professional and everything. That's the thing, I got those. 
and I got them both from the Action. Then I also got some hair clips at Action. They were like six in a set and they're just like these ones that you see everywhere. They're just nice for when I'm doing my makeup and I want my bangs out of the way. Nice. <laughs> Very simple, but I've been wanting some like these and I think they were like a euro for a couple of them, so just nice. I forgot something. I forgot to show you something. Like my favorite thing that I bought. <laughs> Why did I... Oh, how could I forget? Okay, a few weeks ago I went to Primark because um, I needed new tights. One thing that I ran into was something that I've been looking for at the Primark for a few weeks already, but they didn't have it yet. Because when I got there a few weeks ago, um, I was like, okay, can we just check the the uh, pajama section just really 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 quickly please and we walked over there and i saw it and i squealed and i was like so i have a froggy snuddy it's my favorite thing i live in it absolutely every single day uh even if i have to go somewhere the first thing i put on in the morning are my slippers and my froggy snuddy and then i get ready for the day and then i put on my clothes and it's the most comfy thing i've ever had and there's tiny frogs on it i love it so much so much this is, this is the love of my life. Uh, I, I don't know how I almost forgot to show you this, but my froggy snuddy people. So now we can safely <laughs> move back to the extra section, because I guess that's sort of the fashion section. The final thing that I got uh, are a few books, of course. So the first book that I got is A Court of Wings and Ruin, because I finished A Court of Mist and Fury, and while I was finishing it, I was like... I need to read the next book as soon as possible, so I ordered it through Amazon Prime and it was there the next day and I desperately needed it and I still have not read it and that was three months ago. I'm gonna read it this week, I promise. I just decided to read some other books that were like so, a bit, a bit, a bit less of everything because this is 703 pages, that's a lot. So this is gonna take me a while to get through. Uh, so I just wanted to do, just read a few books in between that were a bit lighter and a bit um, thinner easier to get through. So that's why I haven't started that yet, but I will this week. Uh, and then afterwards I will hopefully read this book, which is Aller Zeelen, but it's, um, wait, let me check the English title, A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. I didn't know about this, but I just thought saw this really thick book in the third star. This one is, how many pages is this one? Oh, 650. So also very thick and very big pages as well. But yeah, I, I just saw it and I thought that looks fun. Let me just take that with me. It was two euros, so, you know, almost nothing. And then when I got home, I added it to Goodreads. And then I always look up the English version on Goodreads. And then I saw it had like a lot of because I don't, didn't know this, this title, because it's a Dutch title, I never know the Dutch titles. And then I saw it was like a Discovery of Riches, I saw it on Goodreads, and I was like, this is a popular book. So I accidentally bought a pretty popular book. So, that was just on accident, but, <laughs> you know, it's fun, I'm gonna read it. And then a book that I bought and I already read is this one, The Thursday Murder Club by Riches. Richard Osman. It was 3.20 in the thrift store, I found it, and I was like... That, that sounds like so much fun. And then again, I put it into Goodreads later and it turned out it was like a pretty popular book as well. But yeah, I was like, I don't know. I saw it and it said it was just four lovely retired people nearing their 80s solving a murder. And that sounded just like almost every BBC show that I watched with my parents on the weekend. It's just the, the BBC murder mystery vibes that this gives me. So I thought I'd read it and I read it and it was very fun and I liked it and I might read some more in this series because I do really really like the characters in this series. The murder itself, the way it was ended up... I'm not gonna talk about this, wait. I'm doing a reading wrap-up in a few months, like halfway throughout the year. I'm gonna do a reading wrap-up, so I'll tell you all about this then. But in short, it was a fun book. So those were all the things that I got over the past three months. And I think it's not that much, actually. I think the next three months are going to be a bit worse because I am going on a trip to Japan in July and I want to get a few things for that trip, like clothing, maybe shoes, something that would be specifically perfect for my Japan trip because we're going for like five weeks. Um, I might need some specific things. So that is um, probably like fashion wise, it's gonna be a tiny bit more over the past few, over the next few months. 
that's gonna be it for today um oh i give you my budget overview of the past three months over here so you know how much i spent in each section and each in total because i also like to see that for myself if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me that's even more from me my blog my socials my gaming channel and everything else you need to know about me is all linked down below so you can check it out as well and it's gonna be it for me today i want to thank you for watching and i'll see you next time toodles